How are you, champ? Good to see you. I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. Andre, I was up there on uh, you fought Kessler. And uh, this has sort of been this, you know, tournaments type of situation. And uh, and you're undefeated through this entire thing. Take us through the process of how you got to where you are right now with this fight coming up here against Abraham. What's been going on for these last uh, year plus? I almost lost track of what's been going on. It's been yeah, going on so long. I know. But, you know, initially, you know, it was double elimination. Right. Uh, Super six, obviously, is six, six contestants. And, uh, you know, just throughout – the, the first round, there's been injuries, um, unexpected things have happened, and guys have had to pull out. That's understandable. So I've been the only guy who's had to fight two replacements, two very tough individuals. We defeated them. Now we find ourselves in the semifinals, and it's ironic that the individual that I'm fighting has lost twice. Uh, but due to the nature of the tournament, he's able to get into the semifinals. Hey, Andre, everybody loves Olympic fighters, and uh, I've been to a bunch of Olympics. What do you learn from the Olympic situation? Because it's a different kind of boxing, as you know. Well, or I, is it? Well, obviously, you're not fighting for the money. You are. Eventually. Are, yeah. Eventually. Yeah. But in that moment, right you know, I'm, I'm living a dream. This is something that I, I dreamed literally uh, with my dad, my coach Virgil, for you know eight to ten years prior to. And to be there, especially during those times in 2004, representing my country, just unbelievable. It's hard to put into words. Andre, you have lined yourself up with uh, a person that I have the utmost respect for, one of the giants in this industry, no question about that, and a man of honor, Dan Goosen. Uh, Dan, I, I know you, you look for certain fighters, and we've been following each other for over 20 years in and, and that. Uh, what, what about Andre Ward here? I mean, what, what stands out about this guy? It's great to be out here with you guys, the loose cannons, Pat. I welcome you out here to L.A. I love it. Okay, Thank but- you, man. How, how do you survive with Vic over here with no. the outfits? Okay? The question is, how does how do they survive with me yeah, now? Yeah, I can't believe it. But, you know, what you look for in any athlete is, first and foremost, someone that likes the fight. And Andre's that type of fighter. I mean, he goes out there. You're, you're not going to be seeing any touching of gloves in between rounds right. or or uh, what we saw Saturday night, nothing against Pacquiao because he no, won that, the fight. That we don't want to see that yeah. kind of fight again, you're, you're, ever. You're, you're not going to see it with Andre Ward. So that's the first and foremost thing. You know, keep in mind, uh, you know, Andre's been the sole gold medalist since 1996, many, many years. Very few Americans now reach that pinnacle. And why is that, Dan? What well, happened? Well, you know, I'm going to let Andre answer that, but I'm going to tell you the great thing about reaching that pinnacle as Pat and you all know, and the, uh, the, your listeners out there, is virtually every great Olympic gold medalist we have had have become our superstars in the sport. And I just believe Andre Ward's that type of uh, personality outside the ring and the uh, ferociousness inside the ring to capture the audience attention. Andre, thanks so much thanks, for coming Andre. on. Thanks, Andre. Good luck, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Amelia. We'll, we'll see, see you all Saturday. the best. And Dan, we'll it's always Saturday. great to see you. Great to uh, be here with you, Steve. You know that. We go back many years, but uh, I'm still, I'm not going to be happy until you give me one of the Vic's hats, okay? <laughs> well, you can have this I mean, one. No, wait a second. I mean, Vic is going to be there at the Home Depot Center, so bring he, him a hat, will you please? He is. He's going to be uh, our guest announcer I'll going out there, entertaining the fans. we got a great, great. We got a great night of fights, uh, uh, including Areola against Negi Aguilar. Good and uh, we start at 5 o'clock in the ring, okay? Let's do it.